about our experience in response against COVID-19. It is an Ethiopian experience from one of the biggest hospitals in Ethiopia, that is St. Paul Hospital. St. Paul Hospital, uh, Millennium Medical College is one of the biggest hospital, tertiary hospital in Ethiopia. And in the last seven, eight months, because of the emergence of this uh, pandemic, global pandemic, uh, our hospital has been among the front line of hospitals in our respo uh, responding uh, COVID-19 uh, related issues. We have a huge number of uh, staffs. We have uh, enough resources. So we wanted to use the service integration model. So I wanted this as a very good experience uh, to share to the world because integrating COVID and also continuing non-COVID care is not common during emergency in uh, tertiary care centers. We have built a uh, makeshift hospital or field hospital in other place in the center of the city. And then we continued or we chose to continue giving service for essential service and also for COVID. So we wanted to integrate these two. So these two, integrating these two needed some other uh, service too. And that we call it isolation or quarantine service. So I wanted to share about these three services, three pronged services. We gave, we continued our essential service, both emergency, elective and all tertiary care. We also uh, gave uh, COVID-19 care specialty service. We have been, uh, we were used, our hospital uh, was used as a specialty referral center for COVID care. And then in between these two, because COVID pandemic has its own uh, emergencies, it, it has its own new things that we don't know. So patients should be known either they are COVID positive or COVID negative. You have some symptoms, some of the symptoms are known, some of the symptoms are not known. Especially after community containment, you don't know who is COVID positive, who is not COVID positive. So while you are giving both essential and COVID care, you have to uh, have a mechanism to separate who is COVID positive and who is COVID negative. And, and this takes time, at least a minimum of 24 hours. So we also designed the third model, which is called isolation service or quarantine service. With, it has its own bed, it has its own human capital, it has its own uh, mini ICU where patients should be kept for 24 hours. And then when their test result comes, if it's positive, they will go to our specialty care for COVID. If they are negative, they will join our other essential care. So, so while we chose this, we had key pillars for this integration. What did we do? Or uh, what was our design? So that we, we had four pillars, but I will uh, emphasize only on three uh, pillars. The first is strong isolation center, the quarantine center, and our own PCR lab. The second is designing and redesigning our patient flow. Because COVID and non-COVID care should be separate because this is contagious disease. This is one of the, the, the challenges of COVID is it transmits through respiratory droplets. It transmits through uh, fundamentals of uh, our uh, daily communication. So we have to redesign our patient flow, our staff flow, because those going to COVID, the patients and their staffs should have their separate flow. And then those patients coming for non-COVID care and uh, our staffs giving care for uh, non-COVID should have a separate flow. So that is the second. The third is leadership and systemic potential management. Management during normal condition and management during crisis is different. So during crisis, there are lots of things that you learn and things are very dynamic. We have seen during the, our, uh, our uh, last seven to eight months of experience, everything almost we can say has been very dynamic. So in dynamic uh, systems, we need to have dynamic leadership. So the third fundamental point was leadership and uh, systemic potential management and crisis management. The fourth is about our staff rotation and training. So these are the three key pillars.